Yo, yo. Live from Quarantine Central. Live from the quarantine. What's up with everybody, man? You want to send some beats? My email's in my bio, man. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Fuji Japan, what up? Nabil, what up? Gilly Soul, what up? King Size, what up? Um, I've been outside, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I, I gotta go outside, man. I can't stay in the house all day. I've been outside. I just got home, man. But, you know, I wasn't in no big crowds. Um, I have not, I'm staying away from the big crowds, but I have been outside. Um, I have not been in close proximity to anyone else, but I have been outside. Um, I'm not going to stay locked in the house. I just can't do it. Like I'm just, there's no way unless we absolutely have to. And I don't think that this is a situation where you have to be completely quarantined in your house. Um, so, I mean, what have I been doing to keep myself busy? Um, I've been busy. I've been having things to do. I've been still handling business and doing what I need to do. Um, but I have been following the orders of the the suggestions of the CDC to not be in large crowds or crowds of 10 or more. Um, so I've been following those restrictions. She said, you're high freestyle going to kill the coronavirus. I think I may just start dropping some freestyles. I have a lot of music I could release. I don't know. Do you guys want to hear some new music? Are you guys interested in that right now? Or It might be a good time since everybody um, is sitting at home um, and doesn't have anything to do. So maybe now would maybe a good time to stream some new music. But I have a lot of new music that, um, but I just, I don't know. Something just feels weird. Everybody's like panicking and shit. I'm like, maybe we shouldn't release any music right now. See what people want to hear. But if you guys want to hear some new music, let me know. Um, maybe I could do a couple freestyles or something in the next week or so. Drop some freestyles. Maybe get people, take people's mind off of um, um we got some conspiracy theorists in here talking about the 5G network creating all the viruses. I don't know, man. I don't think that's true right now, but maybe, maybe it will be. People asking me, how can you get beats? Stop asking me how you can give me beats. This is Instagram. This is the social. There is so many ways for people to give you beats. I mean, my email literally is on the bio, is in my bio. So if you want to contact me or give me beats, they're right there, man. You can send me beats. Whether I'm going to be able to listen to every single beat, I don't know. But I try to listen to beats when I'm in that mode. And I want to listen to beats. So if you guys want to send me beats, my information is in my bio. It's very simple. You know? Social media is very easy to get in contact with people, man. I'm not, uh, I'm not hard to find. Not hard to find. Um, I don't discuss business on Instagram Live. If you want to um, hit me about doing some business, once again, like I said, information is in my bio. Young Jesse Ray, what up, homie? But, um, yeah, man. I need to follow quarantine a little bit more. I mean, I haven't been around people, but I've been outside. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I've been outside. Um, I just went and got some food. I did not eat in the restaurant, but I did get food. Um, we need some more King Iso and Locksmith. It's about music, bro. Does isolation inspire? I'm not. I'm not isolated. This is my regular life. So I mean, I live by myself. So I'm usually home if I'm not in the studio with around other people. So nothing. This isn't very different for me. 
So I usually spend my days by myself unless I'm like going into the studio or I'm shooting videos, I'm around, but I'm usually just at home writing. That's just kind of usually what I do. So um, only thing is I can't go sit in a restaurant and eat. Um, my father is older, so um, I haven't been, I don't want to get him sick or anything. So I've been given a little bit of time to see how things go, but I talk to my dad every day. But other than that, I'm usually, you know, I'm usually isolated anyway, man. Like, so I'm usually I'm usually isolated, man. This is really isn't that different for me. Uh, uh, damn, here come all the. So, but yeah, man, let's, let's, uh, let's get our mind on some positive things. Um, anything you guys want to ask me about some music? I was listening to, um, I just came back from LA. So I was listening to Jay Electronica's new album. Um, that was probably like the, you know, latest album that I listened to. Um, You know, but um, um, I did go to the grocery store. I'm glad I got some toilet paper before this whole stuff started because I did. I literally, I literally have not seen any toilet paper in the store in like four or five days. So people are ridiculous, man. I don't know why people are like so. We're gonna go live with some people. Um. Uh, Please ask some uh, good questions. We're going to go live. Okay. Yo. What's up, Locke, man? What's going on, my brother? How you doing? Shit, I'm blessed, man. How you? Long time no see, man. Man, who's that, man? I can't even. Who who is that? Well, it's me, little brother, man. Oh, what's yes, going on? Oh, what's going on, my yeah. brother? Yeah, long time no see, man. You yes, I mean? How you been? Man, just staying busy, you know, trying to keep myself focused, you know. Oh, you quarantining, huh? Uh, Quar not really, but <laughs> in the house right now. <laughs> Yeah, man. Now look, just a few, few, few quick questions. You feel me? I was gonna gas some, some. Uh, let you hear what I've been working on. You feel me? But we ain't gonna go there right now. You feel me? Few what quick questions. Look, after after frontline, what made you want to go independent? And uh, what what drove you? Hold on, two questions, bro. I told uh -huh. you. And what drove you to make you want to stay independent, opposed to staying with the people you was with in the beginning? Well, by independent, when I was with Frontline, we were always independent anyway. We were never, uh, I mean, we... What it was still a duo. Oh, so you mean, you mean what made me want to go solo? Solo. Oh, what made me want to go solo? Well, we always had plans of doing stuff kind of like on our own. But what happened was is just life, like uh, Left, which is my best friend, he's, he's now a professor. You know, so he teaches at Stanford and uh, UC Berkeley. So he basically huh. was still, um, he was still very much, while we were doing Frontline, he was still in school. So he was still going to school. So as time went by and the game kind of changed, he still kind of followed his path with school. And then I was just kind of like, well, I still want to kind of rap what I want to do. And then, you know, the internet came along where you could still put out music. You didn't have to go through a you know, record company or nothing like that. So I just kind of kept going, you know. What made what made you wanna what made you wanna keep going despite the the age guidelines? You feel what I'm saying? You older. You've been doing this shit for a long time. For a long like, time, yeah. Um, you feel what I'm you saying? Know, like what what made you what made you wanna push it now opposed to come out with it back then? Like, you know what I mean? You you you've been on you've been on hiatus for a while. But you've been doing a lot of stuff though. You've been doing battles. You feel what I'm saying? I I seen a lot of battles that you've been doing in New York and like I've been following for a long time, you feel what I'm saying? Like real shit. And like the way that you push your shit out there, like how you how you speak and how you put it out there, I never knew that part of you. 
You feel what I'm saying? I always knew that you was educated by the message that you pushed even when you worked at the Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying, like I, I know you've been around and you 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 definitely been a pillar inside the community, you feel me? Thank you. But what made you what made you want to push it now? You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I know you. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm saying what what inspires you now, bro? You feel me? The God in you, bro, what 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 pushed you now? You know what I mean? Despite the quarantine and the issues, but what made you want to tell your story now opposed to back then? Well, I think it's always been the same thing. I've never not wanted to, I mean, once I, once, once I started doing music, music was always something that I loved to do. So as I, I, I never did it because it was like a hustle or I never did it because I thought I could make money. So once it got to the point where I was actually making money from music, I was like, oh, this is something different. Like I could actually make a career and do this. But the passion and the art, the love of the art is what always is keeping me going. Like, if I didn't love this shit, I wouldn't be doing it, you know? All right. So what, what would you say is one of the key factors in when you make it? You feel me? Is it, is it, answer me this, is it okay that if you're up there to help somebody else who's trying to get there? You and if me. it's not, why? You feel me? If somebody, if somebody made it, inside the industry or they know how to market themselves in a certain way mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying is it okay to help the next person you feel what i'm saying and why is it why is it that people now nowadays like if they're if they're at a higher status like they're more uh reluctant to deal with people you well, feel what i'm saying i can't answer that question all i can say is for me personally i don't expect um, a handout. I don't expect help from nobody. I feel like the first the, I have to help myself and then when I do that the energy that I create attracts opportunities for me. You know what I mean? Like, not a, not I've been doing it long enough to realize like I just I've been doing it on my own. Like I had no, I had no choice but to figure it out and just learn like oh okay. Especially in today's world like expecting somebody to help you or something like that I just don't think in those terms. Now along the way some people have helped me there are some good people out there that be like, man, I see you working. I just feel like if you put out good energy and you're working, then you'll attract good energy. And that's kind, yeah, of, yeah. that's kind of the philosophy that I stay by. And that's what kind of keeps me motivated. Because there's been so many times where I've been let down, where I expected, like, oh, this person is going to help me. Or if I do this, maybe this person. So now I just like, you know what? If it happens, that's cool. But I don't expect anything. I just be like, yo, let right. me just do what I do and then put out that energy, and then that ener good energy will come back to me. Come back to you, right. Hey, sometimes you got to separate the elevator. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? For sure. Like, it's, I, like it's, it's honestly been crazy. Like, it took a long time to really understand, like, understand this shit inside of, uh, a universal sense and a, 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 a different state of mind and start thinking outside the box. You feel what I'm saying? And it, it's like when you finally when you finally allow yourself to do that, you come inside like a place of solitude. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like that solitude is when you come to your best form of music. And I feel like that's the point, you know what I mean, that I was trying to get you to say, you feel me? That's the point that you at now. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The point that you at now, the message that you pushing for you to be inside a motherfucking Uber. You feel me? You know what I mean? Decide to start gassing shit like that. You understand me? You putting out a whole different level of energy and your following, you understand me? Just wanna that's marketing in a whole nother sense. You feel me? Like that's that's a that's a different state of mind. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying, like, bro, watching people like you allowed me to get to where the fuck I'm at right now. You feel me? You know what I mean? And all I'm saying is that's why I do me, it. Like, that part, bro. You feel me? All I'm saying is, bro, keep that shit pushing you. Understand me? I see you at the top, bro. It's much love, bro. Salute, my brother. Yeah, you know I mean, most definitely, bro. God bless. Stay quarantined, man. Bless, bro. Yes, and me. We're going to let some other people go. Uh... Yo, yo. Okay. People be asking to go live and then they get scared. <laughs> I'm letting some more people go live. If you guys want to go live, we can uh, have a conversation. You know, yo, yo. Hey, what up? What's going on, bro? Hey, just want to say, fucking love your music, man. Hey, thank you, my dude. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I always fucked with it. Man, that means a lot. Where you call? Where you? Where you? Where you at? Where you coming from? 
I'm in California. Okay, what part? Uh, NorCal. I'm in NorCal too. You in the Bay Area or would you Sacramento somewhere? No, it, yeah, Sacramento area, Got like you. more down, like Amador County is actually where I'm at. Okay, I was just in Sacramento yesterday. That's legit. Yeah, I was a I was in Old Sac. Nice, dude. That's cool. That's what's up, my brother. Fucking. <clears throat> Just want to say, I, I I love your shit, and fucking, I'm glad that you put me on the live and shit. Like that's cool. No, it's all love, bro. Hell yeah! All right, my man. Did you have a question? Well, you wanted to ask? Fucking, um, not really. I mean, fuck. I'm just glad to fucking talk to you real quick. Okay, it's all good. I did. Uh, I mean. I put out a locksmith type beat on YouTube. I don't know if you want to check it out or anything, but okay, I'll look it up maybe. Hell yeah! All right. All right, my dude. Have a good night. You too. Just glad to say what's up and that I appreciate your music, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. Yeah. Have a good night. Yo yo. We're gonna we're gonna go live with some more folks here. I know everybody's locked down on quarantine right now. Yo yo, are we live? I think you might be having some connection issues there. Well, if I forgot it, then it wasn't that good anyway. So if it was dope, if it was a dope line, or if it was uh -huh. something a dope, if it was something that was really dope, then I would remember it. Like if it's something really good, I'm not gonna forget it. So that's how I kind of trained my mind to think. So even to this day, um, I just never write. I just never write anything down. Now when I'm really busy, um, like let's say if I have to do verses for other people or other stuff, and it's just like oh I gotta do like let's just say I gotta do. I got to do a, I got to do three verses today and I got to record them all tomorrow for uh, something like that. What I'll do is I'll just um, I'll memorize them and then I'll record them on my phone. I'll just like voice record. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's just yeah, like, it's like, all right, you know what? Because I can't think about this verse too much. I got to go to the next verse. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I when I get very busy and there's like a lot of stuff, like when I'm doing, usually it's when I'm doing stuff for other people. When it's my songs, since I'm in no rush, I can make, mm. you know, I can take a whole yeah, week yeah. to write one song. So I'll memorize the song um, in my head. It may, you know, it may take me like three or four days or maybe a week, and then mm -hmm. I'll have it, I'll have it all memorized in my head. That's cool. Yeah, no, it makes sense. But when I first heard it, it was like, hey, it, it just it sounds it sounds off. But I mean, when you explain it. It makes sense. It makes yes. sense. I mean, I remember when I was a kid and I first heard, um, not when I was a kid, but when I first started rapping, I remember hearing Jay-Z. Or I remember reading something in a magazine where Jay-Z said, I don't write anything down. This is when I first started rapping. I was like, that's impossible. There's no way you cannot <laughs> rap, write anything down. You know what I mean? And I thought that was stupid. And then um, once I started rapping, and I developed that skill. It wasn't like I was trying to do it. It just happened. You know what I mean? It just mm. naturally progressed because yeah. I never liked writing. I never liked holding a piece of paper or holding my phone or something while I'm rapping because it felt too yeah. like mechanical. Mm. I just like to feel natural. Like even if I fuck up or I say the wrong thing, then maybe it was meant to be that way anyway. And I just keep it. Yeah. yeah that's cool, man. Yeah, man. That's yeah. how it worked. Yes, that's cool. Um, I, I, I don't know. One more question. And then What's that? Take off. I saw um, R.A., the rugged man, he went on live like like two, three days ago. I saw you on that one. Yeah. Any, any projects or like collabs on, on his album that's coming up? Yeah, he told me I am. Like we did, I did a song. I did some stuff for him on uh, for a song a while ago, and he told me it was on the album. So I'm oh, looking forward to him. Up? Yeah, on his album coming up. Oh, shit. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Absolutely. That's cool, man. Much love. Um, I mean, I I saw you with Chris Webby. This was like, I think in, in last year I saw you. Chris Webby was uh, Echo was on there. Yeah, I shout mean, out you to put on, you put you put on the dope show. The, Where at? Where? What city were you in? This was in L.A. Okay. This was Wait, in L.A. 
we didn't do a show in LA. You mean in, in Santa Ana? Was it in Santa Ana? I don't know. I've, I've seen, no, actually, no. Yeah, yeah. I think it was in Santa Ana because I've seen San Diego area. San Diego, I think oh, it maybe, was. Oh, yeah, maybe it was San Diego. San Diego we did, was. When I was with Webby, we did San Diego, Santa Ana. We didn't do LA, though. Actually, no, yeah, I was, I, I was off. Because I, I, I've seen two Webby concerts, one in L.A., yeah. the, the one in San Diego, that one was that one. But uh, the song that got me, they, they got me, the because um, I, I, I didn't see you until that concert. Oh, okay. Then, um, the song that one of them got me was the I Got This Feeling. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. When when you came out in the crowd, you, you, you got us all ducking down, fucking, Hell, you know, yeah. it, it, got, it got sick that, that, that day. But, um, yeah, man, luck. I mean, I appreciate you getting me on live, bro. It's uh. I'm I'm a fan, man. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll keep supporting the music. Much love, bro. All right, man. Thank you, lot. Peace. Yeah, man. Shout out to. Shout out to the homie that just got on, man. We got some other people want to go on. Um. We're not doing any rapping, just to let you guys know. Um. Anybody else want to jump on live? Let's see, man. Anybody else want to jump on live? Yo. Yo, what up? What's going on, bro? Shit, I couldn't believe that you actually answered, man. What's up? What's up with it, man? I'm here. Gre What's good. Greetings from Finland. It's 4 oh, a.m. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, up, man. man. How's everybody doing in Finland with the uh, coronavirus? You guys okay? Man, okay? It's, uh, it's, it's getting, I mean, shit getting serious, bro. Yeah. Now we're officially like in quarantine and like, uh, I mean, I'm a DJ myself, so all the events are canceled like for at least That's a good. month ahead. That's good. Yeah, but I mean, financially is not good, you know? I mean, all the entertainment business is, is like going down. Trust me. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's good, you know, in the sense that, you know, we don't want to get the, the virus spread and so on. It's so good, like, man. It's good. We need to slow things down, get it under control, and then, you know, we can get, get, uh, get back going, you know what I mean? Hopefully soon. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yo, I have a question for you, though. What's up? Um, well, this is just my opinion, but I'm just uh -huh. kind of thinking to ask. You got a question uh, or I mean, an opinion? I mean, it's it's a it's a it's in a form of a, uh, uh, opinion. Okay. Uh, I, I I see, like you know, for especially a uh, NMC like you. Sorry, by the way, my kid, the one who who woke me up, he's he's making some noise. Oh, so. Yeah. Yeah, um, I see, like, you guys spit, like, quality rap, like, quality rhyming, like, free as a freestyle radio. Do you think that this is a sort of a waste of rhyme? Because, like, you know, wouldn't you rather use that, like, on an album or something where it basically can be rehearsal, like, on, on the stage? Because you can't use the same, you know, so to speak, the freestyle verse on you know, other radio, because they'd be, you know, accusing you that you are recycling freestyle. What, what's your opinion on that? So you're basically you're asking if a rapper prepares, if, if a rapper prepares something for a radio interview, if he prepares like a, a, a memorized or a written freestyle for a, me, for, for a radio freestyle or something like that. Yeah. Do you think it would serve him better to just use it on his album or use it uh, to... Yeah. To uh, put it on. Um, I mean, you know, it, it just all depends. Me personally, um, I just look at it all as a form of promotion. I mean, whether it's on a freestyle or whether, you know, whether it's on a song or whether it's a freestyle, it's all promoting my brand as an artist. And me personally, I like, there's just something about being in a live freestyle, having rhymes, not knowing what beat you're going to go on, not knowing what you're going to do. It's, it's just not the same. And there's just a certain uh, artistic, because to me, it's not about, it's not just about money or it's not just about commerce or selling something. So I'm going to always go and do freestyles. I'm going to always go and do that because to me, that's a part of 
that's a part of the art form. That's a part. That's what I love to do. So yeah. it's not. Just, yeah. It's not just about uh, how is it a waste if you know if you know. Hopefully, people tune in. Whether it's five thousand, ten thousand, or a hundred, if people are tuning in and checking it out, it doesn't matter if it's freestyle or it doesn't matter if it's on a CD or if it's streamed on a song. As long as people can enjoy it and can appreciate it, it doesn't matter to me. Well, that leads to my second question. Do you ever think that uh, an, an MC, per, perhaps like a caliber of yours, would, you know, ru uh, run out of rhymes or maybe like, because it seems like you guys come up with always, like every time when I hear some freestyle or like, especially when I, you know, follow battle rap, every time when I see like some, some top tier battle rap is doing something, I'll be like, man, you cannot top this. Then all of a sudden someone comes with something new. So do you think like ever will be in a way in a point where basically everything has been said that there's nothing new to be said? What's your opinion over that? Well, battle rapping and making songs are very different. You know, even though it is hip hop, um, battle rapping is you have an opponent and you have mm. to talk about that opponent and you have to find different ways to um, attack your opponent. Um, and obviously I've done both. I've done battle rap and I, you know, and I'm obviously doing music. So battle rapping is a little different. That's a different conversation. But as far as making songs, no, you, how could you run out of things? There's always, there's always life going on. Like right now we have a coronavirus. You can write a song about it. You can write about how you felt about it. You can write about how it affected your relationship. You can write about how it affected your mental state. You can write about how uh how you know i mean this this all as long yeah, as yeah. you wait as long as you're alive there's always something to talk about and there's always ways in innovative ways to talk about it so as long as i have life then i you know there's there's always a subject matter to talk about cool all right and last question will you ever be back on battle rapping um right now it's not a priority for me but i'll never say never you know who knows all right Cool. And if you would do, is there anybody particular you're thinking that you might would like to bat battle? No, honestly, I don't even really watch battle rap no more. Like I haven't, I haven't watched the battle. When I when I stopped battling, it's because I lost the um the desire to do it. I lost my the intrigue of it. So for me, I respect battle rapping, and that's why I stopped battle rapping because I was not inspired by it anymore so i know a lot of people like yourself a lot of people watch it especially international um and i commend all the battle rappers but for me basically i'm just i just don't even really watch it that much like i may see a little clip on instagram or on youtube here and there but i just don't follow it so i don't even know i don't really know you know what i'm saying what's going on so i could i would never disrespect or even try to like downplay what battle rappers do because I'm not in it no more. So I can't say, oh, I would want to battle this person because I'm not in it. So, but if that ever changes, who knows? But as of right now, it's just not on my radar. Because I got to say, I mean, you're, you're like, the more time goes by, you become more sharper and sharper. I mean, it's not like, I mean, you know, you know, for a fact, there are some, MC, I mean, MCing is just like, um, you know, any other art form. Well, that, you don't that, just keep but, on... but battle rap yeah. is different. You know, battle rapping, you know, battle rapping is different. And like I said, I have not been in a battle. I haven't been, I haven't battle rapped in over 10 years, you know? So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying I couldn't do it because I have, I have confidence that if I dedicated my time and energy to it, but I'm not arrogant enough to think that I could just jump back in the, just battle somebody tomorrow. Like I, I would never do that because I would want to perform at a high level. So if I would, you know, so battle rapping, when I was battle rapping, I was in the mind state of a battle rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the mind yeah, state yeah, of being, yeah. you know, and then you have to build up callus. You know what I mean? Just like you have to build up callus to in order to to deal um, to be in that battle arena. So if I was to ever do that, I would I would have to focus my energy. Right now, my focus is just on way too many different things. I own my own business. I'm a touring artist. I'm recording albums. So there's no way for me personally to whatever I want to do, I want to do it at the highest level. And if I was to battle rap, I would want to do it at the highest level. And right now. I'm not focused enough on that to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and get off this thing, man. You enjoy yourself. Get some anyway, rest. Anyway, yeah. respect, respect anything. Uh, what's up, man? We're going to let some more people get on here. Uh, 
let some folks get on here, man. Let's have some respect for everybody. Make sure we guys have we got some good questions. Um, we have some good questions. Yo, yo. What's good, Lock? My brother, how you doing, man? Doing well, man. School, Up here reading the shit. School is shut down, man. You already know, dog. Wait, so do you guys still got to take classes online? Yeah, man, they, they move all my shit to online, bro. So everything is online. So you get your assignments, you got to read, and then do it all online, huh? Yeah, man, it, it's not fun, bro. I'm not the type of student at all. That's trash. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Man, so I had a couple questions for you, dog. What's up, my brother? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Fuck, what's up with my headphones? Hold on, bro. Um, I can hear you. Man, so, yeah, yeah. So I was just wondering, I, hopefully you don't feel like hella weird about me asking my another artist because, you know, you're your own MC and shit. But uh -huh. I was just I was just wondering how you feel about that JLEC project. Okay. So for the JLEC project, I'm a J Electronica fan. Mm -hmm. Um, When he first, when I first heard about him, when he had that eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Yeah. Um. I I was just like, yo, this is so dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I thought he was incredible. Um, I actually did a show with him. Um, wow. I met him. This is back in like 2010, I want to say. Stop. Yeah, I, I opened up for him in most death. Um, <laughs> this is back, yeah, this is 10 years ago. So yeah. um, this was back when I first was doing solo stuff. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And um, so... I was a fan of Jay Electronica. Um, I I listened to the mixtape or the songs that he had out before that. Then we had the exhibit C. That was like the, you right. know what I'm saying? That was like, a, <laughs> yeah. you know, that was like a pinnacle song and everybody was talking about Jay Elec and You know what I mean? And it was inspiring because he was an older artist, you know, somebody that was like, you know, like myself, somebody that's a little, yeah. like I've been around for a minute, but I'm getting this recognition. So it was inspiring for me. And I and, mm -hmm. I, and then and then he kind of like, you know, disappeared a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, he put out little songs here and there or whatever, whatever. Um, and then, you know, he got signed to Rock Nation and then he just, you know, kind of had a little start and then he was stopped. And then, mm -hmm. and then we didn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden it's like, you got to get this new J Electronic album. And I was like, okay, I'm going to, that's something I'm going to listen to. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give that a listen. All right. No brainer. And then, so I was, uh, I drove down to LA, um, last weekend and I was like, oh, this is perfect. I'm going to listen to this album. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm going to tell you what. So first of all, this Jay-Z is almost, almost on every song, right? Yeah. And I love Jay-Z. I'm, I'm like, Jay-Z is. Me too. To me personally, Jay-Z is, is my favorite rapper of all time. Okay. So basically, Jay-Z can't really do no wrong to me. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with so you. I hear Jay-Z and Jay-Z is spitting like. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> to me, so then I hear Jay Electronica, and Jay Electronica is solid. Um, he's good. I don't think it's. I don't think it's nothing. I don't think it's the greatest thing in the world. You know what I mean? I think it's. I think it's good. I think he's like rapping. I think he's doing a lot of. To me, I'm just listening to the content. So if you listen to Jay Electronica stuff before, obviously he was always like, uh, you know, in the Nation of Gods and Earths or the Five Percenters yeah. or the Nation. Yeah, the Five Percent. Yeah. Islam or or whatever, whatever. Um. So I knew that before, but when I hear his bars now, I feel like back then, obviously there was 5% of influence, mm. but it was more like esoteric and more just like universal, like the bars he was spitting. It was just more kind of abstract stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I Whereas understand. This project, which he, like if you break it down, there's only nine actual rapping songs on the, on the project, right? Because the right. first one is- Very short. And, and Jay-Z's mm -hmm. rapping on- at least half of seven of those. So there's only like two songs where you get. So basically, you're only getting like ten J, like nine J Electronica verses on the whole album, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So that you know, so as an artist, you know, because I used to be in a group, so I know what it's like to only rap one verse a song. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As opposed mm -hmm. to, so J Electronica didn't really give us that much. But if he's, if what he's given us is potent, then it doesn't really matter anyway. So I'm just I'm not even talking about J Jay Z's. Jay Z's part. I'm just talking focusing on Jay Electronica. So yes, sir. Jay Electronica, what I do feel like 
is like there was some good rhyming on there. You know, Jay Electronic has never been like a wizard when it comes to like word flow. You know what I'm saying? But he always okay. gives you some like he always gives you some like content, some poetic kind of like like I said, like abstract content. And yes. I feel like he gave that a little bit, but to me, if you want my opinion, I feel like because and this is just rumors and things that I've heard. I heard that Jay Electronic has some personal things going on in his life. He's even talked about it. You know, like right. personal issues and the nation of Islam kind of gave him some uh clarity. Some yeah. Stability in his life. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like this song was almost this album was kind of more like because you a lot of those problems like the Laj Muhammad rescue me and Minister Farrakhan and the, it was kind of more like almost like, homage. almost like the equivalent a little bit more than paying homage. It was almost okay. the, almost the equivalent of like a Christian, like if because Islam, because I'm Muslim by the way, because Islam yeah, yeah. has been so ingrained into hip hop from its early days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People don't look as people don't look as like if a, if you Muslim and you're a rapper, you're not looked at as like a Christian rapper. If you're a Christian and you're a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's, yes, it's, yeah. Because Islam is because basically Rakim, all these guys were basically talking about some form of Islam in their music. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Whether it's the nation of gods and earth, the nation of Islam, or what we considered Orthodox Islam. Mm -hmm. So Jay Electronica basically to me was basically just like, it was kind of like this testimony to the nation of Islam. And there's nothing wrong with that. But mm -hmm. I just feel like it was lacking some of that poetic, esoteric stuff, abstract stuff that I loved about Jay Electronica before. Like he was sliding the, na he was sli he was talking about the nations of gods and earth and that stuff in there and Elijah Muhammad in there. But it was mm -hmm. done in a way to where it was just more abstract to where anybody could you know what i'm saying like gravity yeah. towards it more where i feel like this was more like elijah muhammad elijah muhammad elijah muhammad you know what i'm saying i feel you completely there's dog. nothing wrong with that but i just feel like i personally as an mc i feel like he was kind of leaning on that a little bit you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. and it lacked a little creativity in that sense you know what i'm saying i'm with that and that's I'm with a, that and that's aside from the um that's aside from the beats that's a side mm -hmm. because, because I like the beats. I thought they were different. I thought they were me old, too. You know I me mean? abstract. I like Jay Electronica's production. You know what I'm saying? Me too, dog. Yeah. And I like that different shit. Um, Jay Z, because even Jay Z was you know because Jay Z be fucking with the he be sliding into five percent or shit in there and yeah, you know what I'm saying he was wearing the chain and everything. Yeah, exactly. But Jay Z mm -hmm. did it in a way that was cold to me. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? like, yeah, he, you already like, know, dog. He's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I named my son, sir. You got to call my son, sir. Yeah, like, what he say? He, he in his romper still. He, he knighted in his romper or something like that. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Like, it's so hard. It's so, it's so many Jay Z bars. And I'm just like, oh. So I understand, like, when people like Joe Button is like, yo, like, Jay-Z smacked him around on there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and, you know, I don't want, I don't want to go far on that, but for, if you want to go from a straight hip-hop standpoint, yes, he did. Like, he did. Okay. Like, okay. to me, Jay Electronica is not rhyming ability. Jay, Jay Electronica is not on the level of Jay-Z. He's just not. Okay. And that's okay, just my point. Now, if you're talking about deep, esoteric stuff, Jay Electronic is very dope. I'm just giving you as a standpoint, like... No, nah, I got I, you. I trust there, you. There are certain people who have a way with, like, like, Jay-Z. And Jay-Z ain't... Like, Jay-Z is not on the level of Eminem as far as, like... Like, um... Like, well, I don't even want to say that because I feel like Jay-Z is the best. But... I understand like, where you're Jay -Z, going. Jay-Z is not, like... He's not going to fast rap you. He's not going to, like, string a lot of, right. like, um... You know, like, um... You Super great. I feel you. you know what I'm saying? But he's yeah. gonna he's gonna layer shit. He's gonna flow in a way that's just super smooth and it's just super dope. And Jay Electronica, you know, he's kind of offbeat sometimes. You know, he's kind of like MF Doom. You know, right? I mean? Definitely like, Doom. Doom. It's like abstract. So mm -hmm. I, it's hard to compare them. But if you're talking about from a straight like rapping standpoint, like yeah, Jay Z is just like it's not even close to me. You know what I'm saying? Hold Washington. I got you. It's not even I close. <laughs> but I can appreciate them both. Like, when I listened to the project, I didn't feel like, Jay-Z is killing him. Like, I did not feel nah, like, I don't feel neither. like, because they're on a song, and Jay-Z don't even rap. Like, it's not like Eminem, where I'm trying to, like, rap you to death. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z right. But that's what's so killer about Jay-Z, because he's just, like, giving you game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, 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 so, yes. You know what I mean? Like, even myself, like, I try to do that. You know what I mean? In my own way. I try to, like, right. 
I'm never trying to outwrap nobody. If it comes mm -hmm. out that way, it comes out that way. I'm just trying to make sure, like, when you step away and you really listen, you be like, yo, he was saying some shit to me. You know what I'm saying? No matter mm -hmm. no matter what the situation is. And I think I think that's what's dope about Jay-Z. And I think, I feel like that's, and this is going into a different topic, but I kind of feel like that's what I miss sometimes with Eminem. Because Eminem, uh. Eminem is very good as far as, like, making rhymes, making words rhyme, but I feel like he lacks some of the, for me at least, some of the connection mm -hmm in the meaning of the shit he's talking about as I get with somebody like a Jay-Z. I'm Whereas with that, I'm with that. Jay Electronic is all the way the other side. It's like, yo, it's less about the flow. It's all about what I'm saying. And the problem mm -hmm. with what he was saying, I just feel like he was just giving me a lot of like paying homage to Elijah Muhammad, giving him a lot of props, which is dope. But uh, if I only got 10 verses from you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I need more than that. I need, I need more than that. I need more than that, me personally. But... It's right. still dope. It's still a dope project, and I've been listening to it, and I like it. So it's just, it's just I'm with my, you. It's just my honest critique. Hell yeah, I'm with you. Thanks, OG. I was I was looking. I was wondering what you was thinking. Um, it's all good, man. So you know, so I know you and left are uh, family. Absolutely. Uh, I, I remember from like when I was a child I, I, with Frontline. Um, so I was just wondering how you feel about Hove's verse uh, about Kaepernick and like knowing that him and Left are kin and whatnot. I don't know. You got to be more specific exactly what you're asking me. Uh, so I wish I could just regurgitate the but I might be able to. He oh. said, what the fuck did he say? Um, I, I wouldn't like I got more money than Goodell, got more money than the whole bench. Wouldn't have left. Wouldn't have been there if you didn't need me, essentially. Hold on. Let me see if I can find oh, you're that. Talking about what Jay-Z said on the when he said, I got I got his, I got more money than the whole NFL bench. Yeah. Okay. And he continued saying I wouldn't have been here if you didn't need me, essentially. Well, well see, here, here's the problem. You got to be careful when you're interpreting other rappers' raps. Okay. Because me as, a, you know, me as an artist, sometimes I write things and people interpret them in completely different ways than what <laughs> I actually... People's like, oh, you're talking about somebody right there. And I'm like, and my, I don't say anything because I feel like art should be... It's not up to me to try to, like, uh, get you to interpret it. You know what I mean? I want you to just take it and run with it. And that's what I, another thing that I like about Jay-Z is the fact that he he not making a bunch of statements. He's just going to spit his verses and the way motherfuckers um, deal with it. I got the you. Way they interpret him. I, like, I'm not about to go on Instagram or go on some put and, and try to explain people what my rhymes mean. If you take <laughs> them a certain way, it's how you take them. So, <laughs> I'm with you. For you to say what Jay-Z's, I didn't hear anything on that album okay. that directly talked about Kaepernick. Now you okay. can, you can interpret them that he was talking about Kaepernick. So that line that you're talking about, I would have to go back and listen to it again. But I didn't hear anything specifically talking about Kaepernick in that way. I just heard him saying like, basically, I do what I do, and I got more money than a whole. And like I'm I'm bigger I, I I'm bigger than the NFL. But I would have to go back and listen to what he was saying. But we but that's got, my interpretation. We all can interpret what he's saying differently. I got, I know I was I wasn't saying like what I was thinking was like what actually what he was saying I was I, mean, I thought I was maybe I was stripping when I first heard that I'm like did he really just just do that but I'm, I'm gonna send you it is what that cool he, if I send it to you yeah what did he say I don't remember what I don't even remember like type it out I don't I don't remember what type it in the um type it in the live chat so I can read it while you here because what uh copy and paste it or do something cause, or, or read it back to me if you got it in front of you what exactly you yeah that's what that's what i've been doing right now uh because i'm looking through the all i mean because I've, I've been listening to the whole album like five times six times back to back to back to back to back so uh -huh. i forgot which song it was but I, yeah i just gotta find it and i mean it's cool i'll just hit you on uh i can just message you if you okay uh, I, mean, I, I wanted to address it since we was right here but you know what i mean I, no i'm with you I, I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it okay, in time because so I know you got. So what was the question? Do we, do, what was the question that you was asking? Me? Uh, I just wanted to know how, like, you know, how you, if you had any type of uh, critique or any type of uh, what's it called, cognitive dissonance for, you know, what he what he was saying, and and just I, I want to hear your, you know, your anal your an your analysis on what he was saying in terms of, like, I I don't even need this. I'm doing it because I want to. Essentially, it's what it, what I got from it. Okay. Um. I mean, the Jay-Z Kaepernick, I mean, I, like I said. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but I will say that Lef is my brother, so I always support him on whatever he's doing because, for one, I've been knowing him my entire life, and I support him. Now, Kaepernick is a different situation. I don't, I don't know Kaepernick. 
Um, okay. I don't know what his intentions are, but I do know oh. that I I I um I support everybody getting fair treatment. You know what I'm saying? But basically, that, yeah, I, I'm with basically you. I just because I support people getting fair treatment in the NFL and all workforces doesn't mean that I can't support Jay Z and what okay. Jay Z is doing. I don't basically me personally I don't see anything wrong with what Jay Z's like if you what, what Jay Z has done than what anybody okay. else is doing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm with you. Yeah, like, I don't, you know, and that's not because, like, there's certain things that I've done. I'm like, no, nah, I don't rock with that Jay-Z, or I don't rock with that. You know, that don't mean I can't enjoy his music, but I don't, like, the whole, like, I watched the NFL this whole year. I'm a 49ers fan. There's no way on the motherfucking world I wasn't watching <laughs> the Super Bowl. <laughs> this the best, I'm with this, you. This was the best season we had in, like, you know what I'm saying, in, like, 20 yeah. years. Yeah. So there's yes. no way in the motherfucking world I wasn't watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> and every motherfucker, I've watched every San Francisco 49er game for the last 10 years, when before Kaepernick was there and after Kaepernick was gone. So um, I support his, um, I support um, black people uh, protesting, or all people protesting against police brutality. I support all Thanks. that. Um, but I also listen to Jay-Z, and I don't feel like anything Jay-Z contradicted that. Some people do, but that's just my mm -hmm. opinion. Um, Left um, is my brother, and I support him in everything he's doing. Um, and, yeah, so that's just what it is. I think it's off the joint Ghost of Soldier Slim, and he says, I, um, I ain't no sellout. They sold, they sold to me. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Uh... My um uh, no 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 dropping from the no, 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 from the air uh yeah I'll probably just message it to you dog because he it'll take me a minute and I don't want to take all your time. No, it's all good. I remember that line though, but I I mean I didn't hear nothing that um that was just like direct. Whoa, what do you say? I just I just feel like um and you got to be careful when you read stuff off like Genius or them lyric sites because they be have they be having my shit. I'm like that's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, literally, it literally can be one lyric. It literally could be one lyric that's off that changes the whole frame of the verse. You know what I'm saying? It could be one. Uh -huh. word. It could be one word. Like when I look at stuff on Genius, I'm like, that is not. I what didn't I say said. that. But people are just listening and they're transcribing it, and then you know, and then sometimes because you know I don't write none of my raps down anyway, so I go on right. Genius sometimes to see what my lyrics are, so I can go back and copy them. But then I'll change the the shit that they got wrong, and then that's why I'll post it on my Instagram sometimes. Um, got you. Cause I, cause gotcha. I don't feel like typing it all out, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when's your next project coming out, Blair? Uh, I don't know, man. I got a, I got some songs done. I got some stuff that I'm really excited about, but, um, I'm just still working. You know what I'm saying? Now is a good time too, with all this like people kind of being locked down, so I can just kind of stay. I mean, I ain't. This is what I usually do anyway. I'm usually in the house, just <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm with you. Same. Right. right. I'm not doing too much. I'm not going to no fucking bars or nothing like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So, do you release like singles ever? Because I know you know, like uh, say these these uh, mainstream artists, like Weekend and shit. He'll drop a single or two singles. You know what? Um, just be on the lookout. I got some stuff coming. All right. Be on the lookout. I'm looking. Yeah, man. I'm looking. But um, yeah. You know, I'm just chilling, man. Got you. Uh, you being a rich? Uh, my father lives in Richmond, so usually the only time I'm um going there is when I'm just like hanging with my dad you know what i mean mm -hmm. but um but i mean there's no really no reason for me to hang out in richmond <laughs> <laughs> I, I know my mama lives there so that's why i say yeah, that yeah, I got my you, dad I got my dad still lives there my accountant lives in richmond so when i need to go visit my accountant i go to richmond <laughs> <laughs> i got you where you stay at dr mommy asking i'm in the, i'm in the bay i'm in oakland oh nice nice oh okay i thought she was i'm glad you ain't out in the suburbs and shit i was just wondering no, no i'm in oakland gosh Gotcha. I can't wait for you to get on tour, dog. Good talking to you. My brother. Absolutely. Thanks for uh, calling in, bro. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Absolutely, man. Be easy. Peace. Yeah, man. I like I like good conversations like that. Man, it's getting dark in here. I need to open up. Uh, let some sunlight in. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna turn the lights on, you guys. It's getting dark up in here. It's getting dark up in here, y'all. There we go. 
All right, so some other people want to go live. You know what's funny is girls um, on here always want to, they like, they want to go live and then when I click on them, then they say they don't want to go live. I think, I think you got, we need to be more welcoming to some females on here because everybody's, they be scared to go live. Um, we'll take some more people live. Man. Some people wanna ask yo, speaking of live, let me, let me match you, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo. There it is. What's happening, man? What's happening? What's going on, my brother? How you doing? Shoot, I'm trapped. I'm trapped, man. Where you at? Quarantine. I'm in Houston, Texas. Man, you can go outside for a walk, man. Well, it's already dark now, but yeah, okay. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I've been moving. Man, I just got I got a couple questions for you, man. Just two. What's up? Because you're a dude that has battled before. Oh, hold on, hold on. Battle. Before you go into a question, I'm going to ask you some questions in Houston. What is it like over there right now? <laughs> like, during the day, I mean, you know. What what's going on? Are you really staying in your house all day? Are you going out to take walks? Are you walking to the store? Oh yeah, oh for sure. So the bars are closed, the restaurants are closed, but you can go through the drive through. But for the most part, like a lot of people, they don't are still want people. They don't out. want people gathering together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, but people I are still. That's, so... that's good, man. We gotta like slow it down. Let this shit get under control, so it's not spreading as much. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's real. So, like, people are still, like, you know, going outside, you know. You got to be able to go outside. Doing all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the only thing is, gyms are closed, so no one can work out, you know, but people are still doing what they got to do, you feel me? Go, up, go for a run, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Go for a run, do some push-ups, you be good. What did, what, did, what did people do before we had gyms? Huh, what was that? What did people do before we had gyms? Shoot. <laughs> they lived life. They were running outside, you know what I'm running saying? Running outside, doing jumping Shoot. jacks. Go do some motherfucking jumping jacks. <laughs> but, you know, for the most part, it's just everyone's just doing their thing, you feel me? Yeah. But now, when did you want to ask, though? So. Oh, hold on one second. One more question. I got you. Is Shipley still open? I love me some Shipleys. Yes, they <laughs> are. That's dude, facts. That's a good lookout. Every, look out every right time there, I come to Houston, I'm like, yo, I got to go to Shipley's. Oh, uh, yeah. They. Man, they got lines though, but that's normal. That's normal anyway. That's what I'm saying. That's All right, normal. go ahead. That's Sorry normal. about that. No worries, no worries. So I'm a battle fan, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And as a dude who has A, you have competed at the highest level of that, beating the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Disaster. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. As a dude who's made music and who's also battled. Mm-hmm. What's that secret formula to make good music? Because, you know, a lot of battlers, they try and venture off and make, like, an album, things like that, mm -hmm. and it's not that good. Like, it's – I don't know if it's – they try and, like, emulate their battle bars and put it on a beat or something, but it, do you – could you pin into one thing? Well, I will say this, and this is this, – this, an, this question – this answer has a lot of different levels to it. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I can't. I can only speak from my perspective. When I got into hip hop, I did not get in. I didn't get into hip hop because of battle. Okay. okay. I got in because I loved. I loved hip hop music. I love lyricism. I love songs. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I found out I could battle, it was just by accident or by happenstance. Okay. Um. So, when I got into battling and I found out I had a knack, I actually had already been making songs first. Okay. And it was already ingrained into my mind, like, yo, you got to make songs. You got to make songs. So when I was battling, I was only battling because I, you, I was like, yo, this would be a good way for people to know my name. You know what I mean? Just basically to, to gain a reputation, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in the underground. So people were like, yo, that's locksmith. And that's what I did. And then... I was making records with my group and I was on the radio. We were making songs. We were getting played on the radio. And then after I stopped doing group stuff, I was like, yo, how do I find a way to get my name out there as a solo artist, as Locksmith? Mm -hmm. And that's around the time when they started doing battles on the internet. And I was like, oh, okay, this is a good way, you know? So some of the people close to me suggested like, yo, why don't you get back battling? I was like, you know what? I do kind of want to do that. And I was inspired when I started seeing like, 
Smack, and D you know what I mean? Like the Smack DVDs and Murder Mook and all these guys. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm about to get back on this shit. So then I dedicated my mind and my focus on getting into the battle mind frame. Okay. So once I started battling, I had already been writing songs, but now I kind of re I kind of rewired my brain to get into battle. And I and I already knew I was pretty good at it because I had been doing it before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But battling was different now. There was no more, it was not on the beat anymore. It was all a cappella, which I loved. I was like, oh, this is something different. I could just be a cappella. I don't have to be, you know, um restricted to the beat tempo. I can do all kind of shit. So um so that's how I got into battling. But if you want my answer to your question is basically like my approach to battling, my approach to writing songs is just different. Like I had like I I, you have to compartmentalize things and not everybody's able to do that. Um, so, but, but the thing is, is when people say that battlers aren't, they're, when they say battle rappers are not good uh, rappers, they're not good artists, they're, most of them aren't good artists. Well, you could say that most rappers, period, aren't that good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so you're you're fishing from the pool of battle rappers. Like a lot, I've heard some battle rappers. I'm like, yo, their music is pretty good. I think the problem is, is that the fact that they just get way more notoriety from battle rapping because battle rapping is a different. There's a different audience for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. And battle and battle rapping is instant gratification. It's like you go in front of a battle, you battle in front of people. The promoter pays you however much money you get paid. Um, it gets however many views, and and that's it. Whereas songs resonate different with people. You know, you might put out five or six songs and they, none of them may get as many views as your battle rap. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. Um, and then they'd be like, oh, he's not as good as a, 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 a you know, as a songwriter, as a battle rapper. Well, no, I mean, he's getting, he's doing well. It's just, it has a lot to do with it. It has a lot to do with people's perception and it has a lot to do with the way the battle rapper's mind is wired as opposed to a regular artist. Just because you can write a battle rap doesn't mean Oh, we got cut off, man. I think you can only go. I think you can only go live for a certain amount of time. So I think we got cut off, y'all. We got cut off. We got cut off, you guys. But we back. Hey. Yeah, cut off. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. Yeah, I was like, I was having a conversation with some of my homeboys, and I'm not saying every battle rapper, but I was talking about how some of the people that are great at battle rap, like you, Daylight, Sue Surf, you know, Loaded Lux, they were able to translate to both, and it's always been the stigma, you know. So I was just seeing if there was like something that you pinpoint when you're like, oh, I'm not gonna battle anymore. Let me go and focus on music and just see how that transition went, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, for me, I mean, I salute those guys because they are still pretty, they are still active. Like, I haven't battled in 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so they're, you know, they still kind of juggling back and forth. Going, to me, I like, once I did my battle, I made up my mind, I was like, you know what? I want to focus on writing songs because me, it was purely from an um, a artistic inspiration. Like, I wasn't artistically inspired by to battle rap anymore. So that's when I stopped. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though I know it could bring me, like I had a friend of mine that was just like, yo, you should get back into battling. You can raise your cloud up. It can get you, um, you know, it can get you some more eyes. And that's very true. But I was just like, I've always made decisions based on my inspiration. And if I'm not inspired to do it, then I would never disrespect the art form. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I was just like, I'm not going to jump back, you know, jump back. It's just like if I'm a hoop player and I, and then one day I wake up, you know, I'm just like, yo, I don't have that same love. I don't have the same love to like want to battle anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not inspired by it the same way. I'm more inspired by making beats, writing songs, touring, connecting with people in that way, um, as opposed to spending um, all my time battle okay uh i see that i see I, I appreciate the answer man because just mad respect for what you do in your craft you know what i'm saying Much love. like top three lyricists in my in my view we're just looking at bars in a hole 
Thank like you, you gotta be up there, you know what I'm saying? But thank you, brother. That, that's pretty much it, man. I just salute you, you know. Keep doing what you're doing, my guy. Enjoy yourself out there, man. Make sure you uh stop by Shipley's for me, man. Do it for me. I got you. I'll get two <laughs> donuts for you. Got you. Much love, brother. Much love. Somebody said, let's get your merch right. What the hell are you talking about, fool? Um, Locksmith, you're a master class. Thank you. Some people want to go live. Let's see what's up. Uh, I'm not, we're not doing any rapper. I'm going to let y'all know right now. We're not doing any raps. If you want to send me beats, I have an email in my bio. So no, you know, if you have any other kind of questions about hip hop or life or anything, that's cool. But we're not doing no rapping. Uh, I'm good, bro. I'm good, Ben, the creator. Uh, Hi, Locke. Finally, we have a female guest. <laughs> Do you remember I met you in Syracuse? I'm sorry. I can't say I remember. Uh, uh, that had That's to be okay. with, when I was with Webby. Yep. I'm trying to remember Syracuse, which show that was. It was at the Westcott Theater. It was It was like a theater? Yeah. I can't remember, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, what was your name? question was more about collaborations. Okay. Um, specifically, so I when I met you, I didn't realize that you had done a song with Mac. and Mac Miller. Yeah, and yes, I wish I had known because I would have talked to you about it because um, yeah. he's also one of my favorite rappers. But I just wanted to know, like, how that worked because I know that one was Time Flies. Yeah. And I heard okay. it later and was like, no way. <laughs> yes, okay, so I'll tell you exactly how that worked. Um, so I did not know Mac Miller, but I was familiar with I – didn't, I didn't meet him personally. We weren't in the studio when we did that together. But mm -hmm. I did not know – I didn't know Mac Miller personally. Um, I knew of him. He knew of me. Um, at the time, I was working with a producer, uh, Ski Beats, which is actually, oh, yeah. I, be I, be I believe, how I met Webby, too. Oh, well, because Webby had worked with Ski Beats, too. Okay. So we had all kind of had that tie in together. And anyway, I was working with Ski Beats. We had just finished an album together, a project. It was called Embedded. We released that in 2011. Um, okay. And it's no longer on any platforms because that's a whole other story. But anyway, <laughs> so... I did this whole project with Ski Beats and we just worked so well together. And then Ski was working on his next project and he had like all these dope artists on there, Most Def. Um, you know, Ski, he, he's a producer. He's worked with, you know, all the t top dudes that are dope. And then he was like, yo, would you be down to get on this song with Mac Miller? And at this time, Mac Miller was, you know, bubbling up. And right. I, was like, I was like, yeah, he's dope. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> so he played me the song. I, you know, I was, I was staying at Ski's house. I recorded my verse. He hit up Mac. He was like, yo, I put Locksmith on the song. He was like, oh, that's hella dope. And that's how it came about. Um, yeah, and, and a lot of people don't know about that. But if you do a little bit of research, and I've also done songs with um, Mac Lamore. Um, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, but people just, you know, look it up and do a little bit of research. You'll, you'd be surprised what you might find. <laughs> yeah, I have like a really strong connection to Mac from like growing up and stuff to yeah. his music. And, yeah. you know. And at that time, Mac was getting a lot of, like a lot of people was kind of hating on Mac, which I didn't understand. Like people were like, oh, you know, you know, this was like, like I said, this was early on when he first started getting success. And people was like, oh, you know, I was just hearing from a lot of people like, oh, that's corny. And I'm like, oh, he's dope. He can spit. Like, what are you talking right. about? So when he asked me, because I guess I think other people didn't want to get on the song. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll get on the song. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, yeah. I, I that's mean, interesting. Yeah. That surprises me that people wouldn't want to be on his stuff at that time. I mean, it makes sense back then, but like... That's what I'm saying. Back then, I mean, you got to understand, hip-hop is finicky, man. When people are on the come-up, a lot of times people don't want to jump on shit unless they feel like, oh... like. And then later on, I see people like, oh, wanting to work with Mac Miller. It's just like, well, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to work on him, work with him when he was on the come-up. Um, right. You know, but me, at that time, I was just hungry, and I saw that he was hungry, so... I uh I jumped on it, 
You know what I mean? For sure. Well, I'm glad you did because I was I was listening to some of his stuff like oh, probably over the summer after I met you, and yeah. I was like, no way! Like that's and crazy. that's a dope song, and that's a oh, dope yeah. song too. No, yeah, and, still on my playlist. I, I think what happened was is what, and the reason why that song didn't really get promoted or nothing is because um, at that time we were I was when we did the project with Ski Beats, we put it out through Dame Dash's company, and at that time. Dame was going through some stuff and that company kind of just kind of folded. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the, um, the, you know, the album, the project didn't really get its, I don't know, that whole project was dope and, you know, it, it didn't really get promoted. Yeah, unfortunately, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Hope <laughs> to come right. back to Syracuse soon. Yes, please do. I'll be here yeah. all year. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. All right, you too. Bye. Yo, yo. Next collab with Jaron Benton. Yeah, me and Jaron, we got to do some more stuff, man. That's my bro, for real. Um, some people want to jump on here. Um, yo. Yo, yo, what's up, man? What's good, bro? How you doing, man? Just chilling, man. Just chilling. Where you come? Where you? Where you? Uh, where you, where you calling in from? Boston. You yeah, said yeah. Boston, Boston or Austin? <laughs> oh, Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. I don't live like in the city, Boston, but Massachusetts. We just say Boston. Yeah, yeah. The Boston area. <laughs> Boston area. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's I up. I don't. I was gonna tell you. I actually met you um at the Chris Webby show, in uh yeah yeah yeah. Super tight, super dope, man. You all right, man? You got a cough. You all right? You good, man? You know, that, that corona's going around. You all right? <laughs> That's the weed, man. That's the weed. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Got it, got it. <laughs> no, but, uh, man, like, I'm just, I'm, I'm a fan, man. Like, everything you bring to the table as an MC, like, super, super admirable, man. Like, thank you, man. I, I study you, man. Yeah, thank yeah. you, bro. One rapper to another rapper. Like, I, I just respect you on, like, a super super dope level man like happy like, to inspire man yeah yeah I, I love the messages like and the energy you bring with your diction man like <clears throat> think things you can pick up like without without words you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. so like just every everything you bring to the table man like i respect it man that's what's up bro it's all love man I, that's why i'm here man hopefully to inspire oh yeah 100 percent, man yeah yes, man sir. Yeah, there's only a few of us out here like um saying positive shit. Sure you know, there's on there's only a few of us saying positive shit who um are that dope, you know what I'm saying? Hey man. Like, I'm just trying to do my part, brother. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's super important, man. Fighting right, my dude. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any questions you want to ask or you just you just chiming in? Uh I probably should have a question ready. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. You you relax, man. Go on and enjoy that good that good green while while we in quarantine right now, man. It's all good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. bro. All right, man. Take care, bro. All right, have a good one. Peace. Yo, yo. Shout out tissue in the tape, man. Yeah, we got a, a podcast dropping. When when is that podcast? When is the podcast and interview dropping, man? Let me know so I can shout it out. Let me know. Um, yeah, man. As of right now, man, everybody's on lock. You know, we're in quarantine, but it's not a full quarantine, man. If you got a chance, man, go for a run. Go outside. Go for a walk. Get you some exercise. You can still go outside. You just don't need to congregate. It's dropping on Tuesdays. I just did a, um, I just did an interview with Tissue in the Tape. We did a long in-depth interview on their podcast so make sure you hit up their page it's tissue in the tape um instagram so check them out y'all what up lot when's my next album dropping um are you gonna do more stuff with webby yeah man me and webby um we got another song we just finished um i think it's fucking incredible it's fucking dope um super dope so i'll be dropping that soon but my man um echo got a new song that's coming out tonight 
So make sure y'all check out Echo. Crisis too. Yeah, man, I guess people are just going in every chance they get to buy toilet paper. I mean, I don't know how many, you know, I guess, but you know what? I'm single, man. I live by myself, so I don't have to like, I mean, I, I mean, I go through one thing of toilet paper a week, so I don't know, you know what I mean? But I guess if you have a bunch of people living in your house, you got to stay stacked with a lot of toilet paper. So I understand people just, but I don't know why people are hoarding so much stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Jesus Christ, like how many shits can you take? You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Do I wear fear of God for a fashion choice or, or is it faith? Um, I mean, I do believe in God and I like the brand. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. Um, you low-key looking like a slimmer DJ Khaled. Man, I don't look nothing like no fucking DJ Khaled. It's just because we got a beard and I'm part Middle Eastern. Uh, you need to check your bowel frequency. What do you mean? No, this is for this is for people who understand. If you're eating enough fiber, you don't need to use a lot of toilet paper. If you're eating enough fiber, the poop just slides right out. You wipe one or two times, you're good. But if you got to wipe a bunch of times, that means... Uh, that means you're not getting enough fiber. So <laughs> make sure you guys are eating uh make sure you guys are eating your uh your your fiber, man, eating your fruit and vegetables. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, um make sure you are eating your vegetables. Um, some people want to get on here. We're going to go on with some folks. How I feel about Mick Jenkins. Mick Jenkins is dope. I haven't really heard anything lately, but he's dope. Yo, yo. Lock, what's poppin', Locksmith? What's goody, homie? What's going on, my brother? Ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing. First and foremost, man, you, from up. You hit it up like you about to go rob somebody, bruh. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm about, to, I'm about to head out to I'm about to head out to the studio and all that good shit, dog. You going out to the studio in the quarantine and everything, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, I got my own studio, so yeah, that's how where, I get where, down. Where you at? Where, where, what's... I'm from Maryland, man. What Prince George's, Maryland? Prince George's County, man. Prince George's County. Okay, that's what's up, man. What's up, bro? Man, ain't nothing, man. Firstly, I saw you was live, and I'm like, shit, let me chat it up with Locksmith right quick. Well, for, you know, it's all love, man. I'm chilling. Man. Yeah, I'm chilling. yeah, yeah. One, one. One uh independent artist to another man. You uh definitely one of the people who I definitely want to work with in the future, man. You uh I respect your pen like straight up. I've been following you like the first time I ever saw you, and never heard you was when you battled disaster. That was the first time I ever like like back in them grind time days, man. That was yeah, yeah man. So I've been following you since then, man, and have respect for you ever since, dog. So like yeah, so. But I do got a question for you, though. I do got a question. Yeah, so, as far as as far as your as far as um collaborations, though, mm -hmm. if there is a who is it that you haven't worked with that is on your list of people that like, yo, I gotta do something, even if it's not a song, I have to get in a room and create with this person. Like, who is it that you haven't done that with that is on your bucket list to do that with? Um. I mean, I mean, I'm open to work with anybody. I mean, I I don't really be thinking like that. When I have certain songs, you know, um, I mean, there's a lot of my people that I consider homies that I haven't got a chance to work with. Of course, I work with Webby a bunch, work mm -hmm. with Apathy, Ari the Rugged Man, Jaron Benton, um, a lot of guys yeah. who are like the homies. But I think I think um, I think me and Hopson should probably do something eventually. <laughs> Um, that would be next. You know what I'm saying? We've talked about it. We just never done it. Um, who else? I mean, there's a lot of producers. I mean, I'm just down to work with anybody, man. Like anybody that's just dope that I fool with. But I don't really be just sitting like, oh, I wish I could work. Like if something comes up and I think it's dope, me and Tech have talked about working on something. Mm. We just haven't got, uh, haven't done it. So um, 
So as far as like collaborations, you basically they happen organically. You know, they just happen to just fall together in a sense. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, all the people that I work with, I mean, that I've collaborated with, at least for my stuff, is people that I've had a relate that I you know somewhat had a relationship with. Right. Um, you know what I mean? I feel you. I feel you. I feel I'd like, you. I'd I like feel. to work with Brother Ali. Um, he's, um, he's my guy. You know, these are just people that I could that I've just recently been in contact with. That you know what I mean? That I'm thinking of. But then, of course, there's people like you know that are you know a little bit more mainstream, like J. Cole and Jay Z. Oh, cool. You know what I mean? These are all people I respect. Kendrick Lamar. You know, who are like mainstream but are still dope lyricists. Who mm -hmm. I, who I think are uh, who are you know are incredible artists. So you know, but I'm open to work with anybody, man. Definitely. Yo, have you worked now? Granted, if you did, I must have missed it. But have you ever have you ever uh, did anything with Immortal Technique? No, but I know I know I know Immortal Technique. We've talked before, um, but I've never I've never we've never talked about collaborating. But there's a mutual respect, I think, for sure. Most definitely, yeah. Like basically, as far as content wise and the type of substance, I feel like you guys can really, really. Oh yeah, we that would something dope. that would just. That would be some monumental shit, like both of y'all. Once in Immortal Tech, another artist who I respect, who I would def who who's on my list to work with personally. Absolutely. But yeah, man. But yeah, man. But I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I just wanted to tap in, man. Say much respect to you, man. Yeah. Like I said, much I'm gonna be. Love, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be tapping into you real quick uh, soon, man. Because I, me and you, got to work like real shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, be safe out there, bro. You as well, man. Blessings to you. My success. Peace. Yo, yo. All right, y'all. I'm about to hop up off this thing and relax. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna um watch watch a movie on Netflix and uh relax for the night, you guys. It was fun. I appreciate everybody tuning in. We'll probably do this tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all, man.